Hey guys, Fred here, a VE3FAL from Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Uh, 20 meters is up here this afternoon, and uh, I just want to show you another comparison here on the same antenna. Just using an antenna switch, no tuners in line, no preamps on uh, a comparison here on 20 meters between the FX9A and my vertex standard vx 1700 and then i'll pause for a couple uh, seconds and i'll put on the kx2 uh we'll do a comparison there and if i get a chance i'll bring out the x108g um but uh, what i want to do is just show you a comparison there's a couple guys here on 14215 all right and again this is the same antenna no tuners in line just using uh, this coax switch, all right? So we see these guys here, they've got a nice signal, they're loud, all right? Go over to here. We can hear them, all right? Uh, you do hear some QSB. Nothing on the S meter though. Um, I don't have any anything on. You can see the volume's cranked way up. All right, you can hear him down quite low, down to a ten. Well, I really gotta crank it up. And sixty's the max, so that's max all the way up. So that's fourteen two one five. The driveway, I couldn't even get the truck out. Fourteen two one five. Which else out? Voices, but not much. So two and five. So I'm going to just take a pause, and I'm going to put the KX2 in line on the same antenna. All right. All right, guys. I'm back. This is the KX2 in line. Back. All right. Same guys. Fourteen two one five. We got deflection on the S meter. Preamp is off, if you notice. If I turn the preamp on, there's on. They come up quite a bit. Solid S9 with on. Turn it off. Even with the attenuator on, He's still moving the meter here. I can still hear him almost better than the FX9A. So there's off. All right. No preamp on here. I don't have a preamp on here. All right. So. That's the FX9A. This is the KX2. And I'm going to hook up the X108 next. All right. So as promised, this is the X108G on 14215. Preamp off. Same antenna. Preamp on. All right. Nice five by seven, preamp on. Take it off. He's speaking, you know, five three four five five. Go back again. All right. So you can see the difference. That's with the preamp off 
an attenuator on. Volume is barely on, and I can hear him. And he's even louder on this than he was on the FX9A. Right. It's not for the faint of heart, Preamp on. Okay. So I'm going to hook the FX9A back up. All right. So here we are again, guys. The FX9A. Get me out of the shadow here. Now, he's just starting to peak. A little bit on here now. Uh, you look at his signal has come up he was a six here okay so he was a six for the longest time he's still there but when his signal peaks way up I think I only have what eight uh, six seven eight or nine bars on there maybe ten at the most it's not an actual s meter all right and then back I say it works uh, the radio works it's just that it, uh, I understand the circuitry in the front end is a little bit different uh, but it is by no means a uh, like uh, the volumes cranked right up to 60 okay. there's 24 so definitely lacks um, in comparison to the other radios so I just wanted to do another quick test here and show you guys uh, the FX9A, uh, you know, in operation against a bunch of others with the same antenna here. I'm running the Wyndham antenna outside through the switch box. You guys seen the coax from the switch box to the other antennas or to the other radios, I mean, sorry. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with the coax, nothing wrong with the antenna, and it seems to work. So anyway, with that, uh, I'll say 7.3 to you guys. Uh, Take care. Have a great day. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, I look forward to seeing some comments. So, from uh, Fred of EE3FAL, Ontario Northwest uh, Bushcrafter and Outdoors, 7 3.